Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. Yes, 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 we're gonna be in Nessieville again because Portia leaves us nowhere to go. Alright. She leaves us nowhere to go. But I have pretty much figured Portia out for the last three or four months I've been watching her crash and burn and not get anything far as any good luck or any type of solidification that she's going to be walking down an aisle soon sooner rather than later i have come to the conclusion that portia will always be on the purple bus meaning the stuck and stupid bus for a lifetime because her whole thing is she wants to be seen she don't care how she's seen out there in the public who she's seen with and she's always trying to attach herself to the next best thing or what she considers the next best thing so now she's done left the black american men or the, you know yeah black american men now she don't went to the africans she don't went to the liberians or the ethiopians you know she don't just left her black race and she still ain't finding happiness out in another culture or, or, or class of individuals. See, Portia, 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 Portia. Portia is an addict. You know, most people basically are addicts as far as taking pills, illegal pills, drinking, smoking, gambling. You know, the list can go on and on, but we're not going to go that deep into it. But Portia is an addict of trying to marry rich and well off. She won't stop until she's exhausted her whole lifetime. Maybe that's something her mama did. But then she just gave up and her daughter was grown enough and got on this TV show. And she said, fuck it, I'm going to let my daughter take care of me. And that's a piss poor way of going out if you tell if i were to tell it okay because i would still want my money whether i'm living in my daughter's basement or i'm living in a single flat somewhere or whatever i still want my autonomy unless i'm bedridden or i'm ill and i need to be around people to help take care of me but Porsche is an addict y'all <coughs> <coughs> i had to sit and think about this <clears throat> and her addiction is wealthy men. That's right. Portia don't found herself an addiction. And she probably need to go to Betty Ford Center and work that situation out. Because as you can see, <coughs> she's had her share of millionaires. Okay. She's had her share of athletic men, businessmen. Trying to do the you know darn thing. She been on love connection, trying to find that right mate, but she's not evenly yoked herself. She doesn't come with anything but her looks, and God forbid she be in a bad accident or something, and her whole face is destroyed, or her whole body is messed up, where she has to have you know prostheses and stuff in place in her because she lost a leg or an arm or something to that effect. She tries to connect herself to influential people in the industry. And she has she brings nothing to the table but looks. I'm like, a trophy girlfriend, a trophy wife is not going to be everything that you need, baby girl. Okay? It's not, don't sign up for that because it's not a good look. Okay? It's almost like you got a puppet on a string and just pull me whenever you feel like it. Type of existence. But you see, Dennis, I like Dennis. Is he good as far as husband material? Not right now. He's a little bachelor. And you just have to take him for what he is. And I, I do believe he tried to be what he could be for Portia. But just didn't work out. Didn't work out. Okay. She caught him at the wrong time. Or maybe she's not the right woman for him. And his mom, of course. And um, you remember that guy she was trying. He was younger than Portia, I believe. And she was trying to make him into somebody. Uh, and this guy was, uh, I think, an uh, NFL player as well. So she loves her jocks. 
She loves her wealthy jocks, I should say. Because even then it said, Portia don't mess with no broke ninjas. No, she don't. She don't mess with no broke ninjas. And she don't really... Um, well, I've never really seen her date anybody white. So I'm not going to say she has the capability of liking all people in all races because that might not be her cup of tea and you do have people that's out there that, that i'm only gonna date my race because they don't understand me i don't understand them and i don't want to get into nothing else and that's fine whatever floats your boat it's not it doesn't make you a racist it's just this is what you prefer okay but i've watched and i studied porsche for a while and i said this woman is addicted she's addicted to the lifestyle of the rich and famous and she wants to be up there married to a billionaire or a millionaire. Preferable, preferable the billionaire. <clears throat> she doesn't want to work. She wants everything handed to her. And she just want to look pretty and act dumb for, I guess, her mate. I'm not really sure. But most billionaires, millionaires, they have women that know some things. You know what I'm saying? They come from some things. They come from good stock. They come from good heritage. They come, come from good upbringing. Okay. The breeding is everything when you're talking about millionaires and billionaires. They ain't going to just take anybody like you, Portia, that has a pretty face, a pretty body. That, that don't cut it all. Because sometimes they may need you to go do stuff that you can do that they can't do meaning getting in certain arenas by you being a female and you being gorgeous and stuff but they need you to have that analytical piece to you as well to bring the business to your home if you catch my drill so for example beyonce and jay-z <coughs> jay-z didn't marry nobody broke okay he didn't marry nobody not known he knew that b had connections he knew she knew how to make money and withstand that money and she upgraded him that's what i would say but he probably would say differently because he was mostly dressing around in blue jeans and trucks and things of that nature and beyonce taught him or oh, uh, uh, suggested i should say that he looked more of the business side part leave all the ratchet rugged thug mentality uh opticals Leave them in the back door. Okay, leave them when you out on your free time. But we need you to look the part. We need you to look like a businessman trying to make things happen outside of the dope world. We need you to be investing in stocks and bonds and bitcoins and all this kind of stuff. And you can do your little rapping thing on the side. You know what I'm saying? But we need to think capital. We need to think <coughs> resources. We need to think zillion ways of making revenue streams if we're gonna leave a legacy you know money on money on money and that you know just keep going on it's just a empty hole uh where it doesn't you know it's, you can't even fill it up okay but Portia need to just really think of herself as being single because my god how long has this girl been engaged to this man? And he's in his 60s. I don't care what he say. He could say 58, 59. He could go on with that. But we all know he's in his 60s. Hell, he might be 65, ready to retire if he invested in the retirement fund. You see what I'm saying? <coughs> he's not the one that sit there and want to have more babies, even though he may sit and say these things. Oh, uh, yeah. I want to implant a baby and you are this, that, and the third. Well, hell, you can't take care of the ones you got on this earth living and breathing right about now. You can't take care of your ex-wives. So, I don't know where he even is going with this. And it's turning everybody's stomach with the thought of us thinking about it after he said it. It just doesn't ring true. <clears throat> now, you see these men, these African rich men here. They're on the Forbes best millionaire, billionaire list. Portia, why aren't you taking your time to go and, and visit the motherland? Spend a month or a year out there and see what you can bring back with you. See how the other culture lives. I mean, really live. Before you want to just throw yourself into somebody that says he's a billionaire. But can't really show us. Because I'm with uh, Bertha. Stop parading the bullshit around, okay? If Simon had anything, he would be well received in his country. He
he would need to be he would be invited to come back once a year every six months this that and the third he should be visiting his mother every six months out the year you know what i'm saying but i ain't seen simon on the forbes best millionaire or billionaire billboard or magazine his name just has not come across Okay, and, and we, we're talking about 10 African-American black billionaires, which I understand why Oprah is up there. Are they trying to say she a man, y'all? Because I Googled it twice. Black American billionaires or millionaires, and I said black African, you know, um, millionaires or billionaires. And Oprah name, her pictures just co kept coming up. I'm like, are they trying to tell us something? But I know we trying to tell Portia she's thirsty. She's a thirst bucket. And when these type of men that are very influential and they're at that top tier of the caliber they're trying to maintain, they looking at Porsche just just that, a thirst bucket. They see no no reason to engage with her other than using her up and then throwing her away. Mostly like the uh, American black men do. They won't want Portia up there because she, first of all, she wouldn't be dressing the way she's dressing. She damn sure wouldn't be clubbing the way she's clubbing. She wouldn't be on her social media the way she's on her social media unless she's doing some charity work or she's out doing something for the community. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't have her parading around here doing this, that, and the third. How she flaunts her men. How she tried to flaunt um, this guy, Cordell Stewart. Allegedly, they had put gayism on him like he was really bisexual. And Dennis, he can't control her. He's a party animal himself. But he knows how to keep things balanced. And he's a good dad to his uh, daughter, PJ. But this man right here, he can't even do right by the ones he already got in the world. He talking about impregnating Portia? Portia, you addicted, baby. And you need to get some help because it doesn't seem like, and it's just me, it doesn't seem like you're going to land that billionaire or that millionaire because you haven't orchestrated yourself in the mind first or what needs to happen with you to get to that type of man. He's a nice looking man, ain't he? He's African, ain't he pretty? Well, he wouldn't look at Portia. He wouldn't look at Portia. He wouldn't give her the time of day because he don't see her as a material well he sees her as a materialistic thirst bucket he don't see any girth in her some good stock you know only thing he sees or anybody that have eyes to see and ears to hear they look at Portia as an empty vessel she has nothing else to give but to do the ratchetness that she does and on these YouTube streets are talking we all know that that's just a, a facade. Simon ain't got nothing. And Porsche ain't got nothing. Okay, they probably got more than what I have now. I don't know. Because, you know, I'm not in that $100 million range and stuff. All that kind of stuff. I have a nice life. And it's to my liking. You know what I'm saying? But it may not be to the next person's liking. You understand what I'm saying? So, no, I'm not a millionaire. I'm not even a hundred thousand thousand person, <laughs> but I love my life. I know what I want from my life, and if I ever had a chance to be introduced to a millionaire, at least I come with some type of education, some type of well-roundedness thinking, and you know, I I, I think I can hold my own. But see, I don't like being around snooty, snotty people that use their power, use their money to get them power, prestige, and, you know, being in with the right crowd of people, if you understand what I'm talking about. That's not me. That, to me, that's a messy life to live in because everybody's fake and everybody's looking at what the other person, you know how they say Jones following the Jones and keeping up with the Joneses and all that stuff. No one's happy in that type of realm of living because they're always thinking somebody going to come take what they got or they're going to try to take their position that they're trying to hold. And I'm like, you know, Portia, hell, Tyler Perry in the town with us. He in Atlanta. Why you go look him up? You, we know you ain't going to get Jay-Z. Because Jay-Z probably don't really want Beyonce either. But he just stuck with her. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just one of those couples that you can't get rid of. They probably living in separate bedrooms and this, that, and the third. Because Beyonce know that man cheat. Probably still cheating. And she just probably can't. She probably want to choke the living daylights out of him pretty much. <laughs> and she could. But it was her bed. She made it. She going to have to lie in it. So we will yet to see what happens with that relationship. Because they got probably a lot of money tied up with each other. And it's just. It's just a bad thing all the way around for baby girl. But, you know, like I said, she wanted him. And that's what we have to always think about. Be careful about what you pray about and uh, who you want to be in your life. Because you just might get it. And then when you got it, it may not be all that you anticipated it to be. So, I just said, you know, when these rich people, whether they're African, Liberian, or any of the African um countries i mean countries but uh cultures portia couldn't get with it portia can't even tame her american men okay because she don't even know what she wants she's been told by other people probably her family probably her mother that you need to marry rich and you'll be well off and you'll be okay but her mother didn't probably tell her the downside of that meaning they're going to tell you when you could go, where you can go, this, that, and the third, because you don't hold your own. You have nothing that you bring to the table to match their wealth, their education level, their experience with moving and shaking and making a revenue have several streams of income. You know, Porsche started off with her, uh, what do you call that, bed sheet line. Then she did her gold naked hair. But yet now she's pleading to try to get back on a six-figure salary show that she just threw to the wind just threw it like you know i don't need it i don't need them i got my man he's gonna take care of me this that and third but to this day if simon dropped dead right now and i don't wish that what would she have to show that she's connected to him other than a promise to marry her because that's pretty much what she got she got a promise ring because to me, that's all it seems, or that's how I look at it. Any engagements that last uh, over a year, they don't want you. Because, you know, it's, it's pretty much like you already know what we have together. You already know what it's like to live without one another. Either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. Because money going to be here. It's going to be gone. And, and, you know, the vicious cycle just keeps going back and forth. You can't depend on money and your job and this, that, and the third. But you can depend on love and that person willing to go through hell and high water with you. And when things are cool and kosher and y'all on easy street, if that person with you. That's what you need. Your frick to your frat, your yin to your yang. And that's unstoppable whether you got money or not. You see what I'm saying? Like your bun you got your own Bunny and Clyde thing going on. You know what I'm saying? You move west, I'm moving west. You move east, I'm moving east. Okay? It's a tit for tat type of situation that you need in your mate. And Portia just haven't solidified that with none of her men. Even her baby's daddy. You see how that went. When they both were put on a TV show together. And before the ending or the... um. The season was going to end. We were rooting for Dennis to have his own show. And what kind of shit did that make? So that's why I said Portia is addicted. She needs to break the cycle. She needs to talk to somebody. Some therapist. The Lord. Um, whew, she needs to be in, in, inducted into the. Uh, not inducted. But uh, signed up against her will. To go to a, a, a saving grace place. I said the Betty Ford Clinic. You know, because it's so many different things you could have abuse with. And right now, Portia is abusing the system of wanting to have a billionaire or millionaire husband. Okay? And now she's leaning. She can't get one, it seems, in the American uh, way of living and trying to um, be where she can, um, I wouldn't say, <laughs> what do you call it? Steal. But yeah, she pretty much stealing people's husbands and shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, her and Nene, I understand. I mean, you know, it's, a, it's plenty of African billionaires, millionaires out there. If that's what you want. You want an African man, Liberian man, uh, Ethiopian man, however. Uh, they're out there. You don't have to uh, connect yourself with one that's married or separated. 
because you you just add on to your own frustration and problems okay you want to relinquish those problems by trying to find somebody that makes more money than you and then you're gonna hook sink and tie it to they got somebody already that they're trying to get rid of emotionally physically and financially you you're taking all that baggage and that's what her and Nene both have done. They mess with people that's, you know, married or not married or, or into something or, you know, they're connected is what I'm trying to say. Did not find a better word to say it to you all. So I understand. I mean, she could have made things happen with Dennis, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, worked it out at least where they became good friends of nothing else after their relationship dissolved. But she even made an en enemy out of Dennis. And we know she done went through hell and high water with messing with uh, NFL players. You know, in the football league. And now she messing with an old ass African. I said, oh, I can't take it. I can't take it. Girl, he got one foot in the graveyard and the other one on a banana peel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He could go any time today. I mean, we all can go any time you know, the day whenever the Lord calls us home, you know, it is, it is what it is. But you got the you got the odds stacked against you. He's older. He what? God, you're gonna be a caregiver. You're gonna be cleaning his dentures, his ass. Oh, I, I just don't see it, girl. That's why I said this is a supply this is a plan to you can get to your next escapade or your next storyline. Cause this one has really crashed and burned. We don't bury it. We don't want to see it again. We don't hear about it again. And the social media streets have definitely been uh, mom's the word. I mean, it's been quiet. Because Simon's not around you. When Simon's around you, you're posting on your social media platforms. You're doing the most. You know, to try, try to make us believe that it is what it is. When in essence, it's you, Porsche. It ain't the man. It ain't Simon. It ain't Dennis. It ain't Cordell. And who else you were messing with? Here, you try to put R. Kelly up in there. It ain't none of them. It's you. You have been told that you need to marry a billionaire or a millionaire. And that is the only thing we'll do for you. For you to be happy. And that's, a, that's an addiction, honey. That is a strong, strong addiction. So, hopefully, with prayers and supplications, maybe you can definitely get a hold of this. Get down on your knees and go seek some help. Because you're never going to find that man that's going to take care of you and respect you. Anything, you should be looking for somebody to respect you. Because if they respect you, they're going to take care of you. Financially, mentally, and emotionally. Spiritually as well. They're going to nurture that as, as also. But you don't get it. You just don't get it, girlfriend. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I just wanted to let you know I've come to the conclusion. Pa Portia has an addiction problem. She's addicted to solidifying herself, connecting herself, melting herself to a millionaire or a billionaire. Because any other man just won't do. Not the hardworking man. Not the spiritual man. Not the man that's going to make it do what it do. And to live a normal um, off screen or off Hollywood type of living. Uh, something what Dennis was trying to show her. That he's not all with the glitz and the glamour. And the um, the paparazzis and stuff like that. But he could have given her a nice life. But she just threw it away. She didn't want it. She wanted him to be this person. And, and, and um, have this persona that he's this way. And all like that. And he wasn't with it. Now I have to applaud Dennis. You know if you're going to be a dog. Be a good dog. You know what I'm saying. If you're going to be a man. That uh, likes to be an eligible bachelor. And he's just really not ready to settle down. And do you. At least you know. You done told us what you, you are about. In a sense. But with Portia. Mm -mm, we don't found out what she about. Because everybody that has caliber to them. They see her as a thirst bucket. A thirsty child. And they don't want no part of her. Okay. So. Portia kind of let the Real Housewives of Atlanta get a hold of her. And she liked it what it felt like getting the, the nice income and uh, how she was being asked to come to certain events and stuff. But no, I don't even think they would tap you, meaning the Illuminati or anybody in the skull and bones type situation, girl. 
Because you can't keep your mouth closed. You can't. And that's not a bad thing. And that's not a bad thing to be wanting to be with those type of people. Because they don't care about you either. They cut throat on it. You don't do certain things like they ask you to do. Some some dangerous bad things start to happen to, to you. Because it's all satanic. And you want to be a part of a connection of that type of world. Then you know. Hey, it might find you one day. Somebody might tap you on your shoulder and say, okay, it's your time. Show us what you got. But evidently we're not serving the same God that you were preaching about before you got yourself on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And some people don't want to believe it. But I really believe Candy has been tapped as well. And she's, so, and she's accepted that for what it is. But again... That's not my place to really speak on. Because you'll find out sooner or later. More so sooner than later. How we're ending up in this world. With all this unrest. I mean it's already been a lot of unrest out there. But. It's becoming to be more and more apparent. That we're losing self control. We're losing our identities. And we're going to be moving to that. Um, we call it new world order. Okay. Sooner rather than later. Because they already got us with these vaccine mandates and all of this. And then trying to camouflage saying you don't need to do it. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. Then they come back with another virus. You know, supposed to be more deadly than the other one. So, uh, that's all I have for this video. Y'all guys, y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. Get down in those comments and let me think. Um, y'all talk to me about what y'all thought about what I said. And whether or not do you agree. It's portion of addict. Does she need help? Does she need counseling for her addiction? Because she's running through men like it ain't nothing. And that's a problem too. Especially if she's not protecting herself in the bed if you get mature. Alright? Because PJ need both her mama and her dad. Not just her grandmama. And I wish Portia would really straighten up and fly right. As my mama used to say. <laughs> okay? Stop making an ass out of yourself and fly right. Okay? Okay, but I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.